Hello guys, in this video we'll be taking a look at the Autosomo DNA results, predicted phenotype traits and GED match results of an Iron Age Pontic Caspian Step Sarmatian. Uh, very exotic haplogroups, um, you can look them up. He's predicted to have brown color eyes, Greek shaped nose and black hair uh, with minus a coat tool. Uh, with Ysek he's also predicted to have black hair and brown eyes. With Snipper Free he's also predicted to have brown eyes and black hair and white skin. He did not have blue eye haplotype 2 or blue eye haplotype 4, uh, which implies also no blue eye haplotype 3. Most likely he did have blue eye haplotype 1 though. Um, he has got the OCT1 mutation that protects against psychosis when smoking cannabis. Uh, pretty typical stuff for somebody from the step because the step is where cannabis originated from, so you would expect them to be sort of genetically accustomed to smoking cannabis. Uh, and this is his results with the methylation um, panel from Genetic Genie. I just went with this because um, this is a very easy format for me to find all the variations where he's got some exotic or atypical genotypes, you know, sort of, it highlights them for you in red color. This is one of those exotic genotypes where he's got um, genotype for vitamin B12 deficiency, that's what it seems like. Uh, and this is another exotic genotype here where he's got CC, the typical genotype is AA, and he's... Um, that increases the, the odds of ADHD and ADD by affecting norepinephrine levels. As you can see, I highlighted that part here. The file was pretty low quality, so I had to do a lot of imputing to find uh, whether or not he has derived EDAR or not, whether or not he has East Asian EDAR. And based on his genotype in this variation, which is CC, he does not have East Asian EDAR. It would be very surprising for him to have uh, East Asian EDR mutation in the other variation too, based on his genotype here. And uh, he does not have the European lactose persistence mutation, which is no surprises, because he's not even really a European. This is what he scores with Eurogenes K13. It's a pretty typical result for any Sarmatian that I've covered around one quarter West Asian, uh, some Siberian, some South Asian. You can see 9% South Asian here. <coughs> At this point, I've seen a lot of Sarmatian samples guys you can check on my channel uh, I probably covered like more than half of all the Sarmatian samples that even exist with the Oracle he's getting modeled as a mixture of Tajik plus Finnish or basically Tajik plus North Northeast European and this is more of the same we see uh, the same pattern with G25 as well with the official G25 for the sample it's getting modeled as a mixture of Tajik around half Tajik plus around half Northeast European uh, with MDLPK16 modern, he's scoring 11%, actually 12% Indian. That's on top of the 8.8% Indian or South Asian that he was scoring with Eurogenes K13. So people always say, uh, I've heard this, I've heard this saying that Sarmatians and Iranic people don't have, uh, Iranic people of the step don't have BMAC admixture. Well, where, where, where's the Indian coming from if not from BMAC admixture? Where do you think it's coming from, guys? <laughs> People online really underestimate just how southern, just how much Caucasus Hunter Gatherer, BMAC, and Iranian Neolithic related admixture these uh, Sarmatians and Scythians, actual Scythians, not Slavic people buried in Scythian graves, actual Scythians and Sarmatians have. Uh, he's getting modeled as a mixture of Mardvin plus Brahvi. <coughs> Excuse me, Marduin plus Brahvi, and with Pan DNL K K10, he's actually scoring 12% ASI. Where has the where can the ASI come from if not from BMAC admixture? Where can it come from if not from uh, Bactria Margiana archaeological complex admixture? Nowhere. There is no other source for it to come from. And the South Asian he's scoring with uh, Eurogenes K13 um, and all the other South Asian components that he's scoring. That's all from BMAC admixture, guys. With Pan DNA LK12, he's actually scoring 11% South Asian once again. And this is this makes sense because BMAC gets modeled as a mixture of Caucasus Hunter Gatherer plus South Asian. If he had just Caucasus Hunter Gatherer admixture from Indo Europeans, he would not score any South Asian. The fact that he scores South Asian lets you know that he's got BMAC admixture. That's that's how you gotta interpret these results, right? He's getting modeled as a mixture of Russian plus Patan or Russian plus Punjabi. And with um, Ancient Eurasia K6, you're going to see more of the same, right? A mixture of basically Northeast European plus some kind of South Central Asian. Uh, with the Oracle here, we see more of the same. Lithuanian plus Borusho, Estonian plus Borusho, Russian plus Punjabi. Uh, there is also also line number four, Tajik plus Western Hunter-Gatherer or Tajik plus uh, Hungarian Hunter-Gatherer. So he's more Northern, more European Hunter-Gatherer shifted than Tajiks. But he's, uh, he's less Northern European than actual Northeast Europeans. And with Gidrosia K3, uh, he's scoring mostly West Eurasian. 
I'd say some of his East Eurasian here is uh, recent, a recent East Eurasian admixture, but most of it, I would say, is um, ancient and comes from the Tian Yuan man from the Upper Paleolithic when Tian Yuan man contributed to ancient North Eurasians and ancestral South Indians. Thanks for watching my video until the end. You can download the sample in 23andMe format from link which is in the description. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy my content.